okay so nanda let's uh, start uh, your mock for uh, iucl and uh, we, i want a brief introduction from your side to start with okay sir thank you for the opportunity to introduce myself sir uh, my name is nanda kumar and i am from chennai tamil nadu uh, i did my schooling from my native chennai sir uh, 10th in ocf and 12th from velama and i graduated from uh, prestigious university of state anna university sa campus in the year 2018 from uh, chemical engineering after that i got into a job a fertilizer job in coromandel international limited where i worked for two years in two different roles uh, technical service and also shift engineer okay. uh, about my family uh, my father was a farmer and uh, he also worked in a hotel as a cashier presently is retired my mom is a homemaker and uh, my i have an elder brother who is working presently i am preparing for psu job and my hobbies are uh, playing table tennis selam bottom cooking and singing so so you are uh, uh, you you what did you do from coromandel so in coromandel like uh, i like uh, initially i started in technical service department mm-hmm. where i was working on a project of uh, taking trial production of uh, new fertilizer grade triple 15 in the existing plant uh, where i contributed in formulating the best uh, formulation for uh, plant uh, uh, current condition during this i also learned uh, other formulation of grades also and after 5 months due to uh, plants need i got shifted from chennai to vizag uh, unit where uh, i started my journey with a uh, shift engineer role in phosphoric acid plant there uh, my responsibilities were uh, supervising and directing team towards uh, effective running of plant in shift looking after personal safety uh, during plant production and maintenance uh, by providing right isolations and uh, work permits as per psms ensuring process parameters uh, uh, of uh, equipment like uh, reactor uh, bell filters evaporators etc training subordinates maintaining records and uh, controlling uh, inventories also so how long did you work there uh, nanda how, how are you still there no sir i, I actually I left uh, my job last year sir mm-hmm. like two why? years i worked there why why you left see actually during my college itself uh, i was uh, trying to go into psc i was preparing for preparing for that but i couldn't uh, make it in my first gate attempt uh, uh, which i took in 2018 mm-hmm. so i took a job uh, thinking that uh, i will make a balance between my preparation and the job but uh, lately i found that i am unable to balance those two and uh, i left my job uh, to chase my dream and presently i am preparing wholeheartedly for psus so you did not like that job or what uh like it is not uh, liking the job uh, it is like uh, my i like from starting onwards uh, my uh, respect towards psu jobs were more like how a psu job will be there and after getting into my uh, job uh, private job i realized uh, what are the things which are lagging uh, here uh, uh, in private and psu job so that was the uh, which uh, like made me made me to take decision okay so nanda now tell me what is your contribution to your job main contribution main contribution like in technical service i would say the project in which uh, uh, technical background about uh, that grade and uh, best formulation uh, along with team i found out and in shift uh, my b- major contribution is like uh, uh, giving a uh, like production uh, production uh, producing a product without interruption like most of the shutdowns i won't uh, have in my shift i plan according uh, jobs in priorities uh, such that the plant production won't get affected and uh, uh, proper utilization of uh, team uh, team whichever i have in the shift i won't make anybody ideal uh, like even clap uh, starting from plant uh, cleanliness to fire activities and uh, often uh, i was involved in psms like uh, uh, regular uh, revision of sops of uh, plants and uh, documentation of psms uh, articles okay uh, nanda tell me what is the main product of your company uh, it was earlier company the, the main product is the final uh, fertilizer grade which is a complex fertilizer we do pro- we do produce a variety of grade starting from uh, uh, 1620 013 and 2020 013 these two grades are from yenur plant and uh, other grades are like 2020 013 uh, 24 24 uh, 0 uh, 28 28 0 and uh, recently triple 15 also added the family these are produced in vizag and kakinada plant mm-hmm. can you tell me uh, which is the largest producer of urea in india uh, like chamber fertilizer and uh, chemicals is the leading uh, uh, urea producer they are producing around 34. Uh, 
four uh, million metric ton as per uh, website, and second followed by NFL, uh, which is just uh, 0.2 million uh, metric ton uh, lagging. No, no, Nanda, tell me why you are interested in IOC. Uh, like uh, there are many reasons for me to tell why mm. I want to join IOCL. First of all, as I worked in uh, in my company previously, mm. I think I am in a better position uh, to compare or see the jobs. Uh, no doubt, uh, my past job was good, but IOCL is the best employer where I can get a good career growth, uh, stability, and prestige in uh, uh, society, uh, remuner re remuneration, medical facilities, and moreover, uh, a healthy work life balance. And mm -hmm. it is matter of honor for me to join the organization. Okay, now let me come to uh, this part. Uh, your knowledge about IUCL. So it is into refining, right? No, it is not only into refinery. They are into now complete uh, supply chain. Uh, supply chain of hydrocarbon. Then they are also into renewable form of energies like wind, solar, biogas, and they are working on alternate fuels also like uh, petrol plus ethanol blend those things. So tell me, uh, if I talk about the refining, which is the largest refinery of uh, India? And where does IUCL stand? Like, uh, as of I know, the, out of 23 refineries which are in India, 11 belongs to IOCL. Uh, what, which one is the largest one in India? <clears throat> what is it, uh, that I... Have you heard about Jamnagar refinery? Jamnagar refinery. Have you heard about that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Reliance, okay. uh, Reliance Jamnagar refinery. Okay. It is not refinery. It is a refinery. It is the largest refinery. Largest. Now. Okay. And then uh, followed by IUCL, right? Where would you like to work? Uh, refining process. Can you explain me, Nanda, something about refining process? Uh, like in general, refining process where we are uh, separating uh, useful material useful products uh, from uh, crude whatever we are getting yeah so we are uh, in refining we are uh, producing petrol uh, natural gas like ga uh, natural gas petrol diesel kerosene lubricating oils uh, aviation, oil, fuel? aviation aviation fuel, aviation fuel. so how as i keep on refining how the product uh, you will uh, tell me that uh, it, it, these are the products as you keep on refining starting i maybe starting from the lubricant uh, no, actually, as crude is a mixture of uh, many compounds, uh, there is a wide uh, range of boiling point of these materials. Okay. So, like in say, we have two steps basically. One is atmospheric distillation, and followed by vacuum distillation. So, in atmospheric distillation, we are separating the most light T components. So, at the top of the column, whichever is coming, that is having very less boiling point, say 20 degree, uh, 20 degree like that. So, followed by uh, higher boiling liquids. So, in the atmospheric column, as far as I know, uh, we get uh, gases uh, on top and uh, followed by petrol, followed by kerosene, followed by diesel, and then whatever is left over at the bottom is taken to vacuum. And and the, how, how good are you in uh, marketing? Uh, like, I haven't been uh, in a role of marketing in my previous experience, but I think due to my communication skill, which is good, and uh, 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 interaction with people also in uh, working condition uh, was good. I think marketing, I can learn and uh, 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 excel in that also. Okay. So uh, my last question to you before Nikhil sir overtakes. So the question to you is, what are the personality traits uh, which you will tell me about you uh, uh, so that we hire you for this particular company? So convince me that you have these traits so that you could be recruited to this company. The, uh, as far as personal traits, which I possess is like what I think is I uh, to the work, I will be disciplined, sincere and hardworking. Hardworking means I'm flexible to do work around the clock whenever company needs me. And, uh, and uh, I will share my vision with the company's vision for the company's growth as well as my growth. And I think these qualities will uh, help me to join IVC. So, Nada, how do you ensure us that you will not leave the uh, company the way you left your earlier company? Actually, this was my dream job during my graduation itself. So, I left my previous job only to join this job. So, in future, there is no point like saying that I may leave the company. Presently, my aim is long term towards IOCL. Correct. 
Okay, Nikhil sir, please go ahead. Okay, okay. So Nanda, how are you? Good sir, how are you? I am fine. I am fine. So can you please tell me about your uh, project details? Uh, like, so in technical service, uh, as I said, uh, I started working on formulating a triple fifteen grade. Actually, the plant which was uh, running uh, in my uh, unit was uh, uh, designed for uh, two different grades, sixteen twenty zero thirteen and twenty twenty zero thirteen. But uh, this triple fifteen, we were planning to take trial. So for that uh, best formulation, what I can arrive so that uh, with limited resources, sir, that can I can uh, start production in the existing plant. Okay. So what is the difference between these two grades? Uh, basically, the proportion, like uh, what percentage of uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, and uh, uh, potash potash available in the fertilizer. Like in sixteen twenty zero thirteen. There is no potash, and uh, uh, but uh, in triple fifteen, we are going to give uh, an extra nutrient which is potash. Okay. And tell me about day, your, tell me something about your tra training program, summer training. Uh, sir, actually, I didn't uh, get any summer training, but uh, I was, uh, uh, I did uh, implant uh, training for a week or five days uh, in four, four companies. Uh, first one was Pick, where uh, I was uh, getting trained in uh, uh, like one week uh, in ammonia plant, and then uh, TNPL, Saint Gobain Glass India Limited, and Ctex Petrochemical. Okay, so what is the catalyst used in ammonia synthesis? Uh, iron, finely divided iron, sir. Okay, okay. Okay, tell me what is the difference between extraction and distillation process? Uh, like. Extraction and distillation are both uh, direct uh, mass transfer operation, but okay. but in extraction we do have a solvent which will uh, separate a solute from the carrier, but in distillation we generate the second phase by giving heat. Okay, or well, can you please give me one example of extraction which is used in petroleum refinery process? Sir, uh... Don't know. Okay. I, I okay. Don't... Have you have you heard about a naphtha? Yes, sir. Naphtha. What is that? Aromatic compounds. Those are. Uh, no, aromatic... no, naphtha. Which is a uh, product, uh, like light distillated uh, product from CDU. It, sorry, sir. It, it is a product of uh, uh, atmospheric distillation. Uh, which is a saturated ring. Okay, what is a straight run naphtha? Have you heard about this term? Straight run naphtha SRN? No, sir, no, sir. Okay, how do you know the types of naphtha? Sweet naphtha and uh, sour naphtha based on its sulfur content. Okay, so which naphtha goes to? Feed of ice isomerization, light naphtha or heavy naphtha? Sir, uh, I don't know. Sir. Heavy. Don't know. Okay, have you heard about uh, BS six specifications? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bharat standard uh, six, sir. It is the standard that is uh, set by uh, government to mm -hmm. regulate uh, pollution. So last year, uh, 2020, uh, BS6 has been implemented, but IOCL has implemented one month before itself. Okay, so what is the range of density according to the BS6 uh, specifications uh, for uh, MS? Uh, uh, final part, I didn't get it right. What is the range of density okay, sir. for petrol according to BS6 specifications? You know the density of petrol? Petrol is uh, uh, 700 to 800, sir. Not 800, but uh, okay. What is the uh, what is the limitation of uh, sulfur in BS6? Uh, BS6 uh, sulfur limitation is uh, 10 ppm, sir. Okay, and what is the research octane number for petrol? According to BS6, 
don't know what is the octane number of petrol that is used in the market sir sorry sir no problem no problem what is octane number just tell me that octane number uh, is the uh, indication of how much uh, aromatic uh, that uh, uh, petrol is having how much aromatics okay okay no problem okay sir i am done from my side okay so nanda i am giving you that feedback feedback right now okay okay sir. so just uh, as you know the various terminology of mass transfer like extraction absorption and distillation so you should know the examples related to the, that particular company okay so extraction is used to prepare the louisville base stock that is called lobs lobs and uh, it is also used to uh, devex the oil so extraction is used the process is called propane uh, despalting unit uh, furfural extraction unit so these are the unit that is used in petroleum refinery okay, okay. and naphtha naphtha is a, it is a light distillate uh, product okay it is it, it can be uh, it can be a product uh, it, it is a product from various unit so straight run naphtha is usually the naphtha which is obtained from uh, uh edu only okay okay sir. that is called straight run naphtha and naphtha can be obtained from various uh, hydro cracking uh, process from fcc from uh, hydro cracker so that is not straight, straight run naphtha straight run naphtha is only that is uh, which is obtained from uh, cdu okay and naphtha is basically two types that is a light naphtha and heavy naphtha okay so light naphtha generally goes to isomerization process and heavy naphtha goes to cre feed okay and uh, you should know the specification of bs6 because that is very important so according to bs6 standard the uh, range of uh, density is 720 to 775 okay and the the petrol that is used in the market the density of that for petrol is about 745 kg per meter cube okay and uh, the research octane number for that uh, ms is 91.4 okay and octane number octane number what is octane number it is it is a characteristic of it, it gives a characteristic about uh, anti knocking uh, tendency okay so it is a measure of fuel's ability to resist auto ignition which can cause engine knocking and engine damage so that is why we uh, calculate the octane number okay 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 sir i am done from my side yeah yes. okay sir, sir i am done okay. yes sir yes okay nanda so uh, see i told you earlier also that your feedback uh, your this thing is good i mean presentation skill is good related to the job you will tell everything just revise uh, related to coromandel what is the data related to it urea may where do we stand and how it is compared to nfl and rashtri chemical fertilizer limited i don't know somewhere i heard that uh, urea may coromandel is the largest i don't know please urea we are not producing actually we are importing uh, Large amount of urea. Okay, okay. So that one thing you uh, this thing. Coromandel. Me, what was your main contribution? Why you want? Why you left it? And why IUCL? So IUCL ka entire. And IUCL Fortune 500. Me second company. First is Reliance. Uh, IUCL second largest uh, refinery. So first is Reliance. Something like that. You need to compare, right? So that is one part. And uh, rest I think is okay. Uh, from your side, I am satisfied. Right? Tomorrow is your interview. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Chennai sir. Chalo. All the very best, Nanda. Okay. Sir. And if urgently, if you feel like talking to me, you can call me, right? Okay, sir. Okay. Sir. Chalo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.